Welcome to Development Dynamics with Maxi. It is yet another season with another great guest at Development Dynamics with Maxi. We're having a series of wonderful conversations with leaders and practitioners in the global health, in development, in philanthropy, in social impact, where we're just letting um, conversations that spar other conversations, but also that spar change happen and one conversation at a, at a time, one story at a time, we are seeing a lot of significant impact. I am very, very delighted this time around to have not just a childhood friend of mine, someone we went to primary school together, and you will hear this story, uh, but more than ever before now in this, in, this, in, this, uh, in this sitting, we have the founder and executive director of the Open Institute. We have a serial entrepreneur in Africa, a gentleman who is a top 40 under 40 men uh, as per the business day, daily. He's also a poet. He's a fun guy. Um, he's dined and wined with presidents, heads of states, and, and the who's who um, as he has been evangelizing openness. You remember I said he's the, he's the founder of the Open Institute. He's a Mandela Washington Fellow, um, you know, it's, which was organized by a former U.S. president, uh, a guy we like a lot, President Obama. He's also an author, a writer, and most recently, he is a podcaster of Living Memories, where he's had lots of engaging conversations with guys who are, who've lived and seen the history of Kenya in the 30s, in the 40s, and in the 50s. Al Kags, formerly known as Alex Kagwe. <laughs> Welcome to Thanks. Development Dynamics with Maxi, and I'm really privileged that and happy that you could join. Karibu sana. Thank you so much. This is a conversation I've been willing to have. When, when you said yes, I was like, yes, we made it. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, it's, it's wonderful to be here. Yes. And thank you for having me. I am really um, happy that you I did. think it's a long way from primary school. Oh, it? my goodness. <laughs> 30, 30, 30. I think you're one of the longest, uh, you're one of my oldest friends, one yes. of the people I've known for many years and yes. whose journey I've observed for a really long time. And lately oldest means our age as well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, look, look, I, I think, you know, I'm wearing this because I'm hiding a lot of white hair right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, we've come, we've come a long way. Yeah. And it's an exciting thing that at some point you get to reflect about this. A lot. I love, uh, the reason I love this development dynamics series mm -hmm. is because I was watching the one for GG. Yes. And the reason I like it is because in our space, yeah. in the development space, there isn't enough conversation about what it actually takes yeah. for development to happen. Right. And the people behind it. So we tend to talk in abstract form mm. as if the people who are making it happen yeah. um, or who are working every day in the trenches behind the scenes um came from nowhere exactly you, you know it's exactly. important so we see yeah. serialization of business people mm -hmm. we see serialization of, of artists, artists and, yeah. and places like them there's a series that was like this one in kenya called cta yes you know that, it's still that, happening that was i i love that series and it has inspired me and kudos to richard aster because he actually ensured that this happened he's oh, the one who then. pushed uh this and so uh in honor of richie and cta this is uh uh the conversations were exactly what you're saying yeah. why are we having lots of artists and lots of musicians and lots of uh, people in the creative industry yes. uh, whose stories are being told and yes. it's exciting and they're really nice but are we not having folks in you know the the the, the, the field you're talking about social impact social justice development philanthropy uh, whose inspirations like yours is about to be told in this story why are we not having as many of those you know uh, stories not just being highlighted but their their stories their upbringing and what whatever inspired them being you know being brought to the fore the yeah. reason I applaud you for this mm -hmm. is because one of the things that I have done in, I think, the last maybe six, seven years right. is I've been having conversations with people in the development sector and saying, mm -hmm. please have your LinkedIn um, page updated. Yeah. Please create a blog, a blog or a, a podcast or something that mm. is talking about what your experiences are, mm -hmm. because 
just in the same way as I'm talking to grandparents in the, you know, our grandparents in mm -hmm. living memories, mm. there's stories about how our freedom is attained. Yes. About how our growth is coming up that nobody ever talks about. Right. Um, there are stalwarts in this sector, mm -hmm. people like Akina Irungo Houghton, yes. who have been working on Akina George Kegoro. Those are, Those are guys who have been working on much longer than I've been there. You yeah. know, they, they've been working a long time. Yeah. Um, and, and they would tell you yeah. exactly how yeah. they got um, our freedom that we enjoy today to happen. Exactly. Um, and those are folks that we want to sit in this. And these are folks that yeah. we, I hope you will have. Yeah. Um, I pay tribute a lot to somebody like Janet Mawio, who's mm -hmm. the former mm -hmm. CEO of mm -hmm. KCDF, mm -hmm. because Janet mm -hmm. has been in the trenches mm -hmm. um, doing community development. Mm -hmm. When I went to start working for her years ago, mm -hmm. I really stressed her. And we want to hear that story. I'll tell you. So. Yeah. But I really stressed her because... Yeah. I used to ask her, what are you talking about? Because right. they say all these big words, you yeah. know, resource mobilization, yeah, yeah. Uh, capacity building, yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. Impact. And the problem outcomes. is, uh. our young guys, now yeah. this is, I think, why I think it's important. Yeah. 77% of Kenya, yeah. approximately, yeah. is young. It is. It is. So if we have, and of Africa is the same, mm. there are 77%. Mm. Mm. That number of people being young, yeah require people who they can hear from that tell them this is what community development means yeah and this is how it's done yeah this is what fighting for our freedom looks, looks like. like yeah and this is how it's done yeah um and so that they can take that information and innovate however they, they please. and they can relate with it yes speaking of relatability so let's let's take it back from where it all began mm. so who is Alkags and where did where, where are your roots from? You know, where um take us back to your origins. Mm -hmm.